Praise be Jesus and Mary. We are in the sixth day of our novena in preparation for the Holy Father's consecration of Russia and Ukraine to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And in these days, we're exploring how the various popes responded to the request of Our Lady. So from Pope Pius XI to Pope John Paul II. And yesterday, we briefly saw Pope Pius XI. Today, we want to look at, very briefly, Pope Pius XII, who reigned from 1939 to 1958. Pope Pius XII was a very and very deeply Marian Pope, and he was much more invested and interested in the events of Fatima. He was a very Marian Pope, and during his pontificate, just to name a couple of highlights in, on his, in his pontificate, he proclaimed the dogma of the Assumption of Our Lady in 1950. He proclaimed a Marian year in celebration of the centenary of the proclamation of the dogma of the Immaculate Conception. He also instituted the feast, which we celebrate on August 22nd, the feast of the queenship of Mary, and directed the entire church to renew their consecration to, of, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, for because she is the queen of the world. So already, as a pope, he was a very deeply Marian pope. But he was also very interested in the events of Fatima. On May 13, 1917, the very, the very first day Our Lady appeared at Fatima, he was consecrated bishop. He saw this as part of the divine design of God's plan. So already in his being consecrated as bishop, there was the hand of divine providence. And when he became pope, he will, he will, unlike Pius XI, consecrate the world to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Before we go into that, let's just look at two very important requests that uh, pushed or motivated and persuaded Pope Pius XII to do this consecration. One request came from Blessed Alexandrina de Costa, this blessed mystic who is a victim soul who lived in the north of Fatima. Among her many revelations, there was a revelation she received from Jesus uh, asking her to ask Pope Pius XI, who was reigning Pope at that time, to consecrate the world to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. So this is so interesting how through another source, so Blessed Alex Alexandrina de Costa, our Lord wanted this consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Now, she did this under the obedience of her spiritual director, and she wrote a letter, and then she handed it to, she handed it to the then Secretary of State. And this Secretary of State was named Cardinal Pacelli. Cardinal Pacelli will become Pope Pius XII. So you see how divine providence was working, even through it when he was bishop and when he was cardinal. The spiritual director of Blessed Alexandrina de Costa, Father Pino, also at a certain, I forgot the year, but uh, at a very crucial moment, preached a retreat to the bishops of Portugal who, who was gathered in Fatima at that time. And at the end of that retreat, the bishops of Portugal together sent their own letter to Pope Pius XI requesting that he consecrate the world to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And we know, as we, we saw yesterday, he will not do that, but his successor will do that. So Pope Pius XII. Another important source of request came from Sister Lucy herself. So Sister Lucy, when Pope Pius XII was Pope, requested this consecration. The year was 1940, and in obedience to her spiritual director, Sister Lucy wrote directly to Pope Pius XII. And here's part of her letter. If your holiness, writes Sister Lucy to Pope Pius XII, would deign to make the consecration of the world to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, making special mention of Russia, and would order at the same time that in union with your holiness, all the bishops should also make it, 
the days would be shortened by which God has decided to punish the nations for their crimes through war, famine, persecution against the church and your holiness. So you see, Sister Lucy herself writes a letter directly to Pope Pius XII. And it was Sister Lucy's spiritual director who instructed her to broaden, broaden the scope of the consecration to include the whole world, not only Russia, but the whole world, with special mention to Russia in order to increase the chances of Pope Pius XII actually accepting the request. Because you see, one of the problems at that time was a diplomatic one. The exclusive mention of Russia created diploma di diplomatic problems at that time. So if she requested consecration to be brought in the whole world with special mention to Russia, then it's more likely that he would have accepted it. Pope Pius XII, 1942, the Silver Jubilee of Fatima, urged by Blessed Alexandrina de Costa, Sister Lucy, and the bishops of Portugal, that year, Pope Pius XII consecrated the whole world with special mention of Russia to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. So he actually does it. But who made this consecration with Pope Pius XII? Only the bishops of Portugal gathered in the Cathedral of Lisbon. So not the entire, not all of the bishops, only the bishops of Portugal. He did this on October 31st, 1942. Six weeks later, on the feast, on the Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception, he repeats now this consecration at St. Peter's Basilica. Who is present? Only a limited amount of bishops were present. You see, he consecrates the world with special mention of Russia twice on the year 1942. But he did not do it with all, in union with all the bishops. Despite this lack of the union with all the bishops, our Lord was very, very pleased with the consecration. And he actually tells this to Sister Lucy. And the fact that he made the consecration um, diminish the, the years of war that was taking place at that time. So even if he did not complete the entire request of Our Lady, it was still very pleasing to Our Lord. And in fact, before a couple years before he died, he told his secretary that as he was walking through the Vatican Gardens, he actually witnessed a miracle of the sun. So same uh, miracle that took place at Fatima, he witnessed it personally. And perhaps it was a great sign for him that heaven was very much pleased with what he did. So as we continue our novena, we too pray. We pray to Our Lady and uh, we pray for our Holy Father that he make this consecration, inviting uh, all the bishops and that it may give to the entire church and to the whole world the graces, the graces that we so sorely need in these difficult times. Praise be Jesus and Mary.